and this video is about supporting Philip Newstrom and his efforts with LocalWiki for the Shuttleworth Fellowship. Hi, my name is Jason Hibbets. I'm a project manager at Red Hat and co-chair for City Camp Raleigh. I'm also a Code for America Brigade Captain along with Reed here in Raleigh. As you may know, Red Hat has their global headquarters here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I've been with the company for just about 10 years. Red Hat's mission is to be the catalyst in communities of customers, contributors, and partners, creating better technology the open source way. Well, over the years, I've been able to apply open source principles not only in my immediate neighborhood through my community watch, but also to the broader Raleigh community. And through the, uh, over the past two years, I've been co-chair for City Camp Raleigh. City Camp is an international unconference series that brings together government, business, and citizens to really innovate for the for their city and solve problems in a very in an open source way. And through the um, through these two years, we, we've hosted two events. They're basically a, it's a three day unconference series, and um, and we've had some great great uh, interactions with our city government and understanding from the business community of, of how they can interact with government and and really at city camp is where the local um, local wiki community was born and I'll let Reed tell the story of how he uh, was able to find uh, the folks like him at our city camp event yeah thanks Jason so that's exactly right so just after completing our, our first ever uh, city camp here in Raleigh um, a couple things happened for me on a personal level and one of them is just that I immediately identified a, um, my tribe and what I mean by that is just other like-minded uh, civic minded geeks you know I'm, I'm very very involved in city government here in Raleigh from a from a citizens perspective um, and I'm always looking to apply uh, open technology to help with the engagement process Process. And and so City Camp was just this uh, tribe of folks where we all thought the same, and and that's kind of what led the the birth, if you want to call it, of of Triangle Wiki. You know, I pitched the idea to a whole bunch of City Camp um, staffers that were involved in the planning of the event, and said, guys, um, Philip Newstrom has uh, has allowed us to be a part of a pilot community with this new software called Local Wiki. I mean, what do you think about launching? Uh, a local wiki version right here in the Triangle area and, and the group accepted the, the challenge pretty much with it was a no-brainer for them and and so as we went into the if you want to call it the pilot of building Triangle Wiki we actually started off with an invite only type of scenario and a lot of that was actually ideas from Philip and, and so to be really clear Philip has been not just a geek cranking out awesome local wiki code. He has been a coach uh, for all the volunteers right here in the Triangle region um, to to build and launch Triangle Wiki over the course of several months. To be honest with you, and so when we first started, Philip was like, "Okay, well, you don't want to launch a wiki with no content because when people visit for the first time, they're not going to get too excited about it, right?" And and so we we actually had an invite only. We, we locked the wiki down, and we we focused on building content and content and content. And of course, we we chose um, really popular topics, civic topics, right here in Raleigh area that our core group could get excited about, like parks and crime and uh, zoning issues and and transportation. So we focused on content that that tied back to that, and. Um, over the course of several months, we were able to ramp up to about a thousand, uh, almost a thousand pages. But before I tell that story, I want to hand it back over to Jason. Yeah, and and this is kind of where I uh, came back onto the scene. Uh, Reed was doing a great job with the pilot, and and I actually um, gave him some advice. But at the time, I was uh, preoccupied with other projects, um, so I came back in was, um, probably the be the beginning of this year, and. Um, approached Reed and said, hey, look, the, I think the city camp folks should put on some sort of hackathon or civicathon um, to kind of, you know, give back to the community and kind of from a code perspective. And, um, and so we came up with this, this idea is to basically do a content sprint for the local wiki project. And so I helped, uh, along with Reed, helped organize what we call Triangle Wiki Day. And it was a soft launch for the Triangle Wiki project. We basically um, got 50 people uh, to gather at nine o'clock on a Saturday morning. Uh, it was actually here at the Red Hat building and um, of those uh, 50 attendees, two of them were city councilors 
and we also had the City of Raleigh's planning director participate in the activities that day. Well, after a few hours, uh, we had some amazing results. We had over 100 new maps, um, almost 150 new photos were added to the wiki, and we had over 600 page edits. Um, after the, the Triangle Wiki Day, I was actually traveling in San Francisco, and I got a chance to meet Philip Newstrom. And um, during that meeting, I could immediately tell that he was really passionate about local wiki and his project, and he had a strong vision for the project. And uh, Reed, why don't you tell us about um, how you met Philip? Yeah, I mean that's actually a great part of the story is is my relationship, if you want to call it that, with you know with with meeting Philip. I actually um, stumbled across uh, DavisWiki.org almost. Uh, six years ago and I when I when I saw it I was like oh wow we've got to do something like this here in here in the Triangle and Raleigh area and so I reached out to Philip I emailed him six years ago and said hey um, can I have your software because that you know as a software guy I kind of feel like you know can I have your software then I can do the same thing type of mentality and so he said yeah sure and he ended up porting over the code I, I installed it. Um, honestly, after getting it up and running, I quickly found out that the most challenging part of this project was getting volunteers and contributors to to actually do anything with this wiki. So to be honest with you, the wiki kind of sat idle with no content for several years. And um, I, that, you know that's just an interesting part of the story. And as I continue to follow the project, um, Davis Wiki, and other types of wiki projects that Philip did, um, I happened to be in San Francisco, uh, and, and so I emailed him also, and I said, hey, I'm going to be here for a little bit. Do you have any time? And we finally found some time late at night, and we found a park that was like uh, the middle ground between where I was staying and where he was living, and we met up in this park, and we just we just talked, uh, you know, local wiki kind of stuff uh, for a while, and I thought that was kind of cool. And, and so uh, just, in, just to fast forward, you know, almost five years, when I saw the local wiki project pop up with the Knight Foundation funding, I mean, I just got so excited, and I continued to follow his project through Twitter, and and then and then that's where I emailed him and I said, Philip, you got to let me try to do it, try to do this again, um, try to let us be a pilot community. I, I met the city camp group, like again, my story about the tribe, and um, that's where it all kind of started. So I think in closing. Um, for, for Philip's support, most importantly here, but I really want to drive home how important the Triangle Wiki is uh, here, here in our area. Um, you know, we obviously support Philip as a person and everything that he's done for us this far. I mean, that's, that's extremely obvious, but most importantly, we want to support this movement that's happening at the civic level uh, that I'm witnessing right here in Raleigh and that I'm also seeing happening across the United States of America. So, um, you know, as uh, we get started here, it's it's really, really key to drive home that Philip is a key innovator of the local wiki project and that keeping him on board, uh, keeping him funded, supporting Philip however we can is essential for this project to go forward and I would really hate to see the momentum uh, dwindle down and so that's my support for Philip. Yeah, and, and I'll just to add to that you know I think there, there's a very strong open government movement here in the Raleigh area and local wiki and triangle wiki are really key components of that right it's it's creating collaboration across our region here in the triangle and um, and it's it's really becoming a part of our everyday life so Philip and Local Wiki, I think, are, are very deserving of this grant. Uh, I know it would help advance the, the Local Wiki platform and really extend the impact that Local Wiki is having on communities around the world, even Antarctica of all places. So, good luck, Philip. Agreed. Good luck. Cheers. <laughs>